Welcome to ESPN 2's College Football Primetime, part of the SEC on ESPN. We're at Bryant-Denny Stadium for this pivotal game between a couple of the best in the SEC West Division. Alabama, number 12, taking on 19, Mississippi State. I'm Mark Jones. It'll be Mays at the 12. And Marquise Mays brought down at about the 23 yard line. Out of the shotgun. The pass is caught to Julio Jones. Out of the shotgun, they hand it off to Ingram from a nice burst and a good hole. Ingram with a first down close to the 40 yard line. Stopped just shy. Backer. Roy complete underneath. Marquise Mays with another couple nice moves inside. Attack with the experience he has. On third and two. Ingram keeps the legs moving, but nowhere to go. He's stoned short of that first down. Of 11 on the season. And he knocks it through. Defense in gear. Well, throws it complete. That's Ballard. And Ballard out to the 48-yard line. Third and five. Ref keeps it and gets the first down. Depending on the spot. The quarterback's the same way. And so there's not going to be a lot of talking on that field for Mississippi State. Trying to talk with his arm right here. Ralph into traffic and picked off. Robert Lester with the interception. Heartbeat of that defensive line. Third down now for Alabama. McElroy completes it. And now it's incomplete, or maybe it's a fumble. Let's wait for the ruling. They're saying incomplete. It a run game, which they have to be against this kind of offense. They hand it off to Perkins with his first touch. And Perkins picks up a first down for the Bulldogs deep in Alabama territory. A field goal here. Do not turn this football over. Hand it off. It goes straight ahead. Hard running by Ballard. And he was met by a couple of tacklers at the seven yard line. Barron finally, this one from 24 yards out. He's six of seven on the season. Take that seven of eight. And we are. They lost nine starters on defense. Their kicker, their punter, their kick return man. That'll do it. Do it too. The pass complete to Marquise Mays. Really a good football team, Alabama. I mean, they lost to two really good teams. A good quarterback, too, and a great receiver in Julio Jones. You hear the fans cascading. That was never lacked for courage. Good block to give McElroy a little bit of time, too. And McElroy is going to be pushed out of bounds right around the 30 by Chris White, 45 yards away. And that is true, with a lot of room to spare. Alabama takes a three per down for it. Ralph, little bootleg, breaks one tackle, and completes it at the 23-yard line to our seal. Give him a break. Ralph, passing. Knocked down at the line of scrimmage at the 35 by Mo. Third down and long. 15 to go. McElroy overthrows his receiver at midfield, number 82. Six to go. Bumpus in motion. Ralph might have had it tipped at the line of scrimmage for the second time. Five. Alabama, first and ten. Completes it. There is Hanks. With Ingram still trying to get untracked offensively, as is the rest of this Crimson Top offense. So McElroy says, Let me do it myself. First down run up to the 50 yard line. Grad school. Smart guy. Smart guy. 
Roy completes another one. This time to Marquise Mays. Still in balance. Oh, simply amazing. For his second touchdown of the season. Great effort by Mays. A situation for the style of offense. A little pressure coming. Ralph just gets it off. Actually threw a nice ball, but it was just pushes the ball back to the 22. McElroy completes the pass to Ingram. And Ingram is on the move. Mark Ingram! Broken hand and all, got the block for his buddy, Mark Ingram. Hey, we saw him limp into the pile at one point. Certainly he's healed and better right now, using that 10-5, 100-meter speed. Third and seven. Well, fires complete. Out to the 33-yard line. Bob, we talked about this. Only his second year at the helm at Mississippi State, the handoff. <laughs> To Ballard again. Last year, this miss. Sacked back at the 32. Damon Square. Probably going in his ear. Isn't that great, though? That's Sitting great. in Afghanistan. Watching Julio Jones. Julio Jones take still it through the house. Touchdown. How about those guys in Afghanistan right now? Is there some high five hey, going on? How about it? Lining up out of the shotgun. And off. Boy, it's going to be close. Ballard falling forward. Let's look at the spot. Hey, Bob. With the motion eyes in my mind, how defensive players take on blockers. And there's a defensive interception by Chris White in Mississippi State. Gets the ball right back. Marcus Lattimore can run now. He is fast. Chris Ralph needs a lot of help from his receivers in terms of not dropping the football. At that time, he couldn't even get a clip. And well, if he was asking for something in Mississippi State, then he definitely got something to get the over. Auburn. That's not necessarily the case. Continues to play out in real time. And a fumble on the field after the hit. And scooped up by Alabama on the play by Dick. Third and short, two yards to go. Low snap. And Ralph hands it off to Ballard, who has the first down and then some. All the way out near midfield at the 49-yard line. Just like in a wishbone, when they have to throw it, those offensive linemen, that's a tough, tough thing to ask. And Ralph missing his receiver. Chad Bumpus over the middle. He was open. Second and five. Lacey. And a first down for Alabama. Might have made the right decision for us, or at least had the right input for him. There's Ingram. Another nice gain. There's McCarron again. Completes it this time to Hanks. First and goal, Alabama. A.J. McCarron, the new quarterback for Alabama, under heat again. They're trying to light him up. He escapes. And it's incomplete. There are about four different players that have. <laughs> Shelley from 28 yards out. Knocks it through the uprights. And he's two for two on the two. Well, if you think Nick Saban has taken his foot off the gas with his team up 27 points, think again. This is McCarron, the backup quarterback, who is getting an earful. Nick Saban up in his grill. Well, what he's focused on all week, getting each guy to play up to the standard. Spends about 80% of their time run blocking. And there's a pass downfield. This one's caught. Russell with a pass complete. 
to Arcedo Clark. Back to pass again into the end zone. Oh, touchdown! Chad Bumpfus with the catch. And Tyler Russell comes in and ignites him a little bit. And for Tyler Russell, that was the fifth touchdown pass for him of the season. The extra point good. I'm going to guess that A.J. McCarron's not going to throw into any kind of coverage. That face the wrath of head coach Nick Saban. You're saying he should just head to the other sideline if that happens. Let's see what he does. Threw it behind his intended receiver, the tight end. But ESPNU taking on Princeton. That's going to be an interception. Picked off by Robert Lester. And Alabama right back in business. <laughs> the spoiling it for someone else. It's their season. And you can spoil it for Auburn. Oh, still alive. And it's fumbled loose. And that'll just about do it. This one is cooked, glazed, and sliced. Alabama's home winning streak now at 19 and counting. This was a game of explosive plays by Alabama that finally broke it open. Our final score once again, 30 to 10 for the Crimson Tide. Stay here for College Football Scoreboard. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For Bob Davey and our entire gang, I'm Mark Jones. Thanks for watching, everybody.